Can you say one, two, three? Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi Welcome guys. back to our channel! Hello guys! Welcome to our morning hectic chaosness. To be fair, actually this morning Hello? we're pretty well dressed. Even Mabel's got the dungarees on, guys. She's got the co op the co op <laughs> the cord <laughs> from bending down. <laughs> so how tired you are. Good morning. What's that frown on your face for? <laughs> oh, it's a hard life, guys. It is a it hard, is life hard life being a two-year-old, guys. It's I very stressful. Steve my t-shirt. Just for us. So it looks very steamed. Oh, what? No, is it like oh, in it the perfect? Oh, that's You're like, like so like, sassy. Like, look, it looks very no. steamed. <laughs> no, it looks good, but it's like you've got to walk around, just not crease it. No, no, like people don't crease their shoes. Down. Yeah. That'll be like you. <laughs> yeah, don't bend the shoes. Don't crease the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I feel like we haven't chatted to you guys caught up in ages. I feel like Mabel's grown at, you've grown at the speed of light. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, James is making us some porridge. Uh, I'm gonna pop this. guys. <laughs> you are <laughs> slaving away in the kitchen. Look at your beautiful tower. Can you show me which ones are which? Have you got uh, monkeys? Uh, head monkeys. Yeah. I love how you've put them all, Mummy and Minnie. Head is pet. Mummy or Daddy, of course, Minnie. Yeah, Mummy or Daddy. <laughs> Mummy yeah, or Daddy. Yeah, that's a panda bear. It's a panda bear. Hold tight. Are you practicing for the airport? So Mabel's going down for her first nap. Amber's squeaking her pig in the background. <laughs> and we're ready for some. Favorite toy. Forgot to um... <laughs> that's your favorite. Is that your favorite toy? It's a dog toy. I knew you'd love it. Daddy. You're welcome. <laughs> no, that's too big. That's a big one. Small one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it nice? Maybe a bit too small. <laughs> no in between. Is it nice? Yeah. Yeah? That's nice daddy. <laughs> Name should we call it? Mm, you said it was a whale earlier, didn't you? Kind of looks a bit like a whale. It's purple! Purple! It has got purple, whatever these are. I don't even know what it's actually meant to be. Green! Um, and green! So, you guys may have seen we had like a fake trunky when we went on our last holiday. And then there was this little kind of secondhand shop thing on the side of the road the other day. We saw a real one and we were like, oh my gosh, we'll pick up a real one. So it's secondhand, but it is a real one. So we're going to see how this one goes because our fake one completely broke literally on the way out to the holiday so that was hilarious it looked like it was going to be great um, but she really enjoyed putting it along so we're going to see how the real version goes and we'll let you know so amber has just gone off feeling myself. Feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself you're feeling yourself now the toddler's gone for a little break no, gone off saying, for a bit. Like, i'm just gonna quickly show my outfit on the vlog james oh uh, i'm feeling myself so actually pretend for you oh in the mirror yeah. mirror selfie would you, like, would you well, literally like faint with like confusion if i was like cowards i'm just gonna show my outfit on the vlog okay hen i would literally be like this is april fools i'd be like do you, go on what have you got on today hen you've got your I'm oh, showing you here. I'm actually really cringe today because Why? Um, I'm full Zara. Oh my god! I know, and I just realised. <laughs> Zara you know, model. It's all plain. No. Like my Zara shorts, which are like. I love those. Which are like my go to yeah. kind of like smart cash <laughs> shorts, you know? Yeah. Like I've got some smarter shorts. They're lovely. And I've got all my sports shorts. <laughs> so you get and into these it. are like the only in between pair I've got. <laughs> You can't stop him now. And then I've just got like this t shirt, which I just like the colour. I've just got like this t shirt. I just like, got like this t shirt. I like the colour. <laughs> I love that t-shirt on you, it's lovely. Thank it's a lovely you. outfit. Well, the reason that... I tried. I tried. <laughs> the reason that I was going to show my outfit, guys, is because... You don't today's need actually been... I know, I show it every single... Sorry, I'm interrupting a lot, but you no, don't but... need a reason. <laughs> I don't, because you I show it every single time on the vlog anyway, no matter what I'm wearing. But I am excited because today I'm releasing my... One of my Summer in the Style collections. I say one of them because... Well, we had one in April that was kind of more spring vibes. And when we got the swimwear collection coming in June... <laughs> I've been waiting so long for the swimwear collection, that guys. Secret, guys. Yeah, that one's a secret. That. Yeah, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm not meant to be talking about that one, but I've already told everyone. It's the 15th of June. I'm just telling everyone when it is. It's penciled in for the 15th of June, guys. The swimwear collection's coming. But be this is the. <laughs> or be naked in the pool. <laughs> It's really good. So this is um, some of the pieces from the collection that is actually releasing today, which when you watch this video would have been a few days ago. What are you doing, darling? Socks. We're getting ready to go Socks. to the health visitors, by the way. 
James is pottering around. Mabel's still sleeping. We're gonna have to wake the sleeping baby up. Which is always, just nobody wants to wake a sleeping baby, but we have to, to go to the health visitors, which is so sad. Anyway, I'm not finishing my sentences. My, <laughs> my summer in the star collection is releasing today in real time. So it'll already have launched when you watch this. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm freaking obsessed with these shorts and I freaking designed them. I can't guys, this is why I love creating my collections. I just need feel good clothes right now. On my Instagram, I'm doing a little series at the moment, which is all about like wearing clothes that aren't leggings and a jumper. I got into such a rut of just putting my leggings and jumper on every single day. And for nine days straight now, nine days. Oh, it's day 10 today. We have not worn leggings and a jumper. We have been branching out. <laughs> James, miss, James loves a pair of leggings outfit. Next time you wear leggings and a jumper, I'm gonna be like, whoa, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> I've been branching out with all the funky outfits. Funky for me, I'm very basic. Yeah, these shorts I'm freaking obsessed with and they're just exactly what I need in my life. Stretchy waistband because I just hate anything tight on the tummy. Flowy, big pockets. We've got this rib top, which I love. It's like a Russian premium rib. Ooh, lovely. Just oh, we've both got our Deichmann shoes on. Check us out. Dashman ad. It's not a Dashman ad. They were gifted though from last year's collab with Dashman. Yes, and then the shirt as well, which is like a textured. I love the shirt. It's like got like a, it's like a cheesecloth-y textured. I don't know what they call it. But yeah, this is I think they call it cheesecloth. Am I making that up? <laughs> no, I honestly think they do call it cheesecloth. Um, cheese the fabric, I don't know. That some sort of Cheesecloth yeah, vibe. Yeah, my cheesecloth today. <laughs> it's as if someone, you know, I don't know, made some cheese and then thought, I'm going to use the cheesecloth no, to make a nice shirt. I, I just think that's what, I think you're right. Of that's course. what they wrap cheese in. Yeah, like that white thing. And that's what it probably looks like that. D yeah, posh cheese. It's not the type of cheese we buy, is it? It's not cathedral cheddar. Well, that's wrapped in plastic, <laughs> so I don't want to be wearing a cathedral <laughs> cheddar plastic shirt. No, so, no, you might make it look good. Mm. Oh, also, my lashes. This is the first day in, like, forever. Sorry, I will stop rambling, because we do actually have to go to the health visitors. The first day in a while that I haven't had my semi-permanent lashes on. I've taken them off nice and fresh, so we can do a fresh set. But... I'm so excited. I'm quite feeling like the clean vibes went, so it just feels nice to be able to rub my eyes. <laughs> oh, you can't rub them when you've got the lashes on. Uh, you? Don't... <laughs> Yeah, oh, can't. can't you? But we wear contact lenses, so I still can't. You can't rub them anyway, yeah. Anyway. But you can so give them a little. I've got them wearing contact lenses. I know. I'm in the shower and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, it's just gone. And I'm there for ages in my gone. eye trying to find my contact lens. I'm like, what's here? I know. Here a minute ago. I'm sorry, guys. The kitchen is such a mess. I don't know why I'm apologising. None of you are going to care. But also, this is guys, life now. Chaotic. We're see, leaving it. Can you see my kitchen, Will? Oh, sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Can you see the kitchen roll sat there? Yeah. I wanted to ask, why is the kitchen roll so expensive? Oh, is it? So, yeah, how much was that? I think that's like the cheapest they do, and it was like three pound fifty. Or what? I know. Well, people will say, don't use kitchen roll. People just will use, say that. just use. Big eyes. Big eyes. Toddlers and spills. I know. It's just okay. so easy. I'll be going through towels and cloths like. I know. I know. No end. I know. Well, I say toddlers and spills. It's Pop you. I'm a toddler. And I spill and a lot you of things. <laughs> and she helps wipe it up she now. <laughs> right, we gotta wake Mabel now. We gotta get going. Like how? How can I wake this angel starfish? How 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 stealth do you reckon it can be at getting into a car seat without like, waking it? Oh yeah, let's try that actually. Oh, oh. oh. Well, you just took it I just stroked her and now she's waking up. Oh it's so cute though. Hello. As soon as you wake up. As soon as you wake up, you're the smiliest little bean. Stretchy! You look very confused. Why did you wake me up, Mum? Why did you wake me up? Hello? Hello? Hi, baby. Hello, Happy. Are you happy looking at your little cosy thing? How are you happy? And I've just woken you up. You're an angel. You're an angel. <laughs> Hello, you. Who isn't? Hello, you. The lady of the manor on her throne. You haven't got Amber to say. Amber oh, usually gives sausages. her sausages and says, Bye, Mila. Sometimes she's really yesterday. nice and she kind of yeah. places them in front of her. She just throws the sausages on her. I'm loving the nappy bag, like... <laughs> I know. <laughs> on your shoulder. I think I started my um, sentence earlier about where Amber had gone and then didn't complete it. And now I'm choosing to clean the camera during a vlog clip. 
classic. So yes, gone. Amber's gone <laughs> with gone, my mum and my grandma to Marks and Spencers. So my grandma goes to Marks and Spencers every single Thursday. And now my mum's retired, they go together and they love taking Amber. So she's gone on a little morning shop with them. Um, and Amber absolutely loves it because not only does she, is she obsessed with my mum and grandma, but in Marks and Spencers they have these... It's just brilliant. I know. It's I love the fact they've the done people. that. It's a, it's a shop for the toddlers and everyone else is there going, why did they make that cow moo sound so loud? It is so loud. The number of like either side eyes. I know you get. Was when I'm just like, nah, nah, Again! Nah, nah. Moo. They've got a cow noise, a chicken noise and a Percy pig noise, which just goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's obsessed with that. So we're like, you're going to the shops to do the cow noise. And she's like, Aah! with my new grandma. Oh, like, press it as much as you can. <laughs> Yeah, that's so why she's gone and we are off to the health visitor. How exciting. James has dropped us off and me and Mabel are walking into the health visitor appointment. James is going to collect coffees and then we're going to meet, meet up after because the appointments are very short to be fair. They literally just weigh them and measure them. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our appointment, having a little feed. I still struggle so much with my coccyx with feeding Mabel. Like I have to literally sit on my side, I'm twisted to the side because my coccyx is so painful. I can't believe, I mean, I know. I spoke to my mum, my mum and dad are GPs, when I first hurt my coccyx, and she was like, it's gonna be ages till that heals. And I didn't believe her, and now it's been ages. So we are currently stopped in the garden centre, having a bit of a wake time with Mabel. She wasn't quite ready for her nap, so we thought we'd pull over. Tune on her dungarees. <laughs> she didn't, doesn't want to feed, but she wants to have a little sack of her dungarees. Are you? Is it tasty? Maybe we should just go and look at some plants. I know. You know. Do you want to go and look at some plants? Get the outdoor nature yeah. vibes in. Just looking at plants in a garden centre. Um, we got some new um, <gasps> glass coffee takeaway cups. Look how exciting these are, guys. I'm scared. Like, how do Cara they work? Little, they're actually quite hot. Oh, they're glass they and they've got the sleeve. But I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna sneeze. But it still comes through and it's quite warm, isn't it? Is it is quite warm. But also, yeah. how does it work? Is that literally just? Yeah, you drink through there. Yeah, but like yeah, if I pick on. it up through the lid, it's all right. Well, so. Maybe don't pick it up through the lid. <laughs> maybe pick it up holding the uh, the actual glass. Ooh, mm. where did you go? To the place we went for breakfast the other day, the little local place. Is it oat milk? It is oat milk. Ooh, it's very smooth. Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> it's very smooth, oh, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have oat milk latte, milk. please? Literally. For this little one. I can't have it without oat milk now, can I? No, I'm you just can't. like obsessed. No, I know. So yeah. Because we've had um, like our one pound Starbucks coffee cups. I remember I when know. like it first came in that you paid for the paper cups. <laughs> Starbucks had like one pound plastic coffee cups. Mm. And I think we bought like six. We love them. And they've lasted so, so long. long. But like I think now about five years later, treated us. they're a little bit grotty. Yeah, yeah, quite they're grotty. a bit grotty. So I we know. still use those, but we thought we'd treat ourselves to a little bit of a fancier affair. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we're going to go then... Should we go stroll around? Let's go strolling. We're I'll actually try. on our way, guys. Very we exciting. That's what's To say. give you a house update on our fixer it up. Fix it up. We th we're hoping the roof light. That's going to be so exciting. Guys, yeah. if it's not in, I'll be so sad because I'm so hyped up to see this roof light in. And we I can tell Chloe that. Chloe! We can tell head contractor Miss Chloe. Chloe! We can say, oi! She's become very it's good. not in! <laughs> Chloe, where's the roof light? <laughs> She'd be like, guys. It's still sitting <laughs> in the bedroom. We love you, Chloe. Guys, I've given up with um, trying to have the right size socks on the right baby. We're just all having age two to three year <laughs> socks. Do they feel good? Yeah? You nice feel nice and warm now. It's actually a bit chillier today, isn't it? Yeah, it like, is. It's still warm, obviously. Yeah. But like, it's been boiling lately. Yeah, you know if it's like not too chilly, otherwise I'd be in a coat. You would, you'd be in a full on. <laughs> I don't like being cold, guys. I really don't. Winter ski jacket. I would, yeah. Yes, guys, we're standing here discussing olive trees. Can yeah. you believe it? Can we buy a fourth, a fourth no. olive tree? You can never have too many olive trees, guys. I'm, um, just, I'm a firm believer. Look how beautiful this is. It's calling my name. We have a large garden, Karis, but what we don't have is several acres. There's space. <laughs> look, look. How all... many olive trees can you see in a single, you know, glance? As many as Loads. possible. Seriously, they're just gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Them. And they lasted so well in our garden. They look so We lovely. don't kill them, guys. Because they're so easy. I feel like every single other potted plant in our garden, we've killed, but we don't kill Actually, the Actually, you water them. You are I good. Do. In the summer, I water them about three times a week. <laughs> Your granddad, who used to own a garden centre, 
didn't oh, he? Oh, yes, he did. He's he was very like, on it. He was like, you just need to drown them yeah. in the hot weather yeah. in the evenings, three days a week. Loads of water. Yes, in the evenings Perfect. because... Oh, there we go. Otherwise, they burn and dry yeah, out. Yeah, they burn and dry out. Exactly. We're just, we're just gardening pros, guys, guys. Guys, we should change the channel. It's, James it's Akara's right. gardening. I don't know why James is getting his, like, fifth pair of gardening gloves, pretending that... <laughs> I don't know where they are. They're probably in the overgrown They're probably garden. in the overgrown garden, yeah. Are. I probably, like, finished it with... What do you need garden. those for? You've just lawn mowed all of your overgrown stuff. <laughs> when I'm pulling out all the weeds and things. So Do you even know what a weed is? My dad was showing you the other day, was he? I was convinced. I was like, Simon, look at all these weeds. And he's like, no, they're lilies. They're beautiful flowers, oh, darling. <laughs> you completely got that one wrong. Shouldn't have killed the ones up front. I shouldn't have lawn mowed all over the flowers. <laughs> Can you figure out how to do it? We're just looking at oh, this amazing you. toy oh. section for... Oh. We're thinking oh. of Amber. She loves... Oh, my God! Oh, I'm in. The thing is, she'd probably play with it for two seconds and then be like, cool. You know what? You just can't tell. You cannot tell. Honestly, some toy. Yeah, you're right. Two seconds. You can just nah. think, yeah. With and then. Playhouse. Oh, I know, guys, don't. I convinced James. I was literally like, James, get Amber a playhouse. Like, she's going to love it. I like, was like, we need swings, we need slides. And Carl's like, no, 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 playhouse. I was like, James, a playhouse. She's not even bothered by it. Trampoline, definitely a win. Oh, Every single day. God. Oh my gosh, I'm we haven't even shown you the trampoline. House. Yeah. friend's house the other day didn't we and uh, she got her similarly aged kids trampoline and she was like best thing i've ever bought yeah and literally like, We're with your sister trampoline is a win now i'm also looking at these water balloon things i'm thinking she'd have an absolute win of a time with those because she's obsessed with balloons and water so you mix them <laughs> together she could blow up a balloon with water and throw it and it uh, splash that's actually terrifying she's it is not, actually <laughs> <laughs> I have bad memories of being like <laughs> blasted with water balloons at like parties and by, stuff. By your older siblings. Yeah, my, my four siblings. It's too much, guys. It's for you. Would you like these? <gasps> you do like those. Would you like them? No. No. There's literally so many toys. We could be here forever. James is onto the Hey Dougie books. She's loving Hey Dougie at the moment. These, why am I literally so obsessed with these? Like little toys like that. Why is that so satisfying? Do you like that one, Mabel? Or like these jelly toys, these wriggly things. They're just, and they always just last two seconds. She's interested for two seconds and you find it like under the sofa with Mila's hairs all over it three months later. Oh, I just love books. I always want to buy books. It's getting that balance with her age now. Yeah. Between, you know, you need to have some words oh, without being like too yeah, wordy. Yeah, exactly. You've got to get the right the yeah. right amount of words, the right amount of pictures, and then she's like really interested. She starts to really understand the story. I know. Stuff. She's like, oh no, he's crying. I'm like, oh yeah. I didn't even know his son. <laughs> James has found. Okay, so you write on it with the magic pen, and, and then it's, like it's an iPad. Colors. That's hilarious. And then you click the button. Oh my, she's gonna How love it. How do these things work? <laughs> That's actually more... Like, I know it's all chemical reactions, but, like, it's just, like, how is that done that? <laughs> it's like a piece of paper. What? It's literally, like... Does it work with your finger? Uh, with your nail. Oh, OK. I don't know how it gets rid of it. Yeah, I'm out. I'm honestly... Done. Um, that. sold. What colour should we get? <laughs> sold to me. That's oh, there's a, different colours. That's a great And it looks thing. like an iPad. I'm obsessed. Is it in? No. Not yet. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, well, it's all on, oh. like the boards and everything, yeah, and then the, from the just the roof lights ready to go in then. I have to order some extra corners to be a little bit short around the roof lantern, so they're coming in tomorrow. Ooh. And then the boys are going to come in then on Saturday morning too. This is Chloe, like, guys. Lantern. She owns Imperial Design Homes yeah. with a little... <laughs> the little, what do you call it, poster there in the back. Fine. This is Chloe, she owns it. She's an amazing, unbelievable <laughs> Don't make me person. Blush, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she's doing the whole project with all her team, and it's just unbelievable. But yeah, we've got the roof in. We're waiting for, to put the roof light in now. So when do you think that'll go in, Chloe? Um, when? Uh, Saturday morning. On Saturday, we'll have it in. <laughs> amazing. So, guys, at the moment, we are chatting through. Um, kitchen layout so we've we've sort of decided the kitchen layout already i know i popped that up in the last video um, but we're just chatting to chloe here about this area which i know we spoke about as well and what we're going to do with it because we were planning on doing this like kind of coffee station area but now we're thinking of just doing 
basically with the coffee thing that we designed you couldn't fit a washing machine into like the cupboard yeah um so we're thinking of doing just a bigger one that's going to fit the boiler and washing machine there and then kind of leaving my friend to be able to put in her own piece to kind of create her own coffee bar area if you get me so chloe's just doing us all the measuring now to see what we can get done there is it ready <laughs> Oh, okay. Because if you talk here, yeah, but you have a 13 in but it would just be. It comes to here. Yeah. So we have this corner with nothing underneath there. So yeah. they're just chatting about pop up sockets. Yeah, you have pop up sockets. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them before, they literally puff up yeah. like that. And you then... can have the tall towel ones, or you yeah. can have them um, like a double socket where you press the button and it just flips over. Ooh. Which are quite cool, and you can have them in like loads of different I'm going to be jealous, I want them in our house. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah, so we, we thought we could pop them up here in the corner because that's going to be like kind of where you have like the toaster and things like that, isn't it? Yeah, That'd be nice. Yeah. And then we need another one then, probably for the peninsula. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For there. If you've never seen one of these before, they literally pop out from the countertop like that and you can plug stuff in them. I know. Cool. The first time I saw it, I was mind blown. <laughs> you just taking Mabel in the sling. So we've just been having a really good um, convo with Chloe about the tiles um, because I just feel really sad letting them go. I just feel like they're in really good neck and I thought with this level in here and stuff we wouldn't be able to restore them or it would just cost an absolute bomb but i've just been chatting to chloe and we actually think she's got a guy that she thinks will be able to do it in like less than a day basically like because the rest of them are in such good nick so we were having a proper good look then about what actually needs to be done and i think we're going to be able to like restore them and keep them which i'm so excited about yeah. and also in here which is where the ensuite's going to be it has the original like i can't remember what chloe just called them the ensuite did i just call this an ensuite <laughs> <laughs> the downstairs bathroom toilet um it's got these like original tiles like this that are like the ones when you come in the front door so i'm excited to have that as like a rustic vibe as well so yeah i'm buzzing so guys this is one of chloe's other properties that she's doing up and we thought we'd come here to look at the micro cement i know it's hard to see but basically it's like a super textured completely waterproof so she's doing this whole this is a bathroom which is going to literally be a shower here it's like a wet room essentially if i come here the lighting's a bit better but it is essentially just all over and you paint the ceiling white and then it's got basically just texture and um, i love it i just think it's so pinteresty james is a bit like mm, it just looks like an unfinished wall and i'm like i know but once you get the whole like finished bathroom and you have like a luxury i just think it looks really minimal and really like timeless and just i love it um, like I love all the texture on the wall, the kind of unfinished look, and that's kind of like what's in fashion at the moment, isn't it? Like the whole, what do they call it? The whole, um, is it like lime washed walls, which kind of just basically look like messy unfinished walls, but it's all the fashion. I was like, James, it's all the rage, okay? He's just chatting to Chloe about something else, but he was like, mm, I'm not sure. I was like, look, trust the process. It's gonna be cute. We're back. It's a few hours later now. We rushed back because we completely lost track of time, and Amber was coming back um, for her midday nap which guys she has been dropping regularly and it is exhausting us <laughs> we are still clinging on we are still trying <coughs> bless our souls i thought james bought new mugs yesterday fox ivy oh yeah so it was from tesco yeah look how nice these are i'm coming at a really awkward angle here but the sun is too much in the other angle they got like really cute very basic, but that's what I love. I'm making a cup of tea. I'm gonna show you, wait, what was I talking about? Oh, Amber's nap. Yes, she's been regularly dropping in it. We're still clinging on. She's actually gone down for her nap today. I think it's been about five days in a row now that she hasn't napped. And she's at that awkward stage where she, she is gonna get to an age where she drops her nap, but she's at that stage where she's dropping them. But then when she's dropping them, she still needs it. Do you get me? She's too tired, yeah? So you're like, yeah. you need that nap. You still need it, honey. But you're like in between that awkward limbo. Multiple, multiple days now that she hasn't slept. So we are buzzing that she was really happy to go down for her nap today, um, which is lovely. So I'm going to take this opportunity to have my cup of tea, but also... I know. I'm just like trying to crack on with my emails and yeah, stuff. You're just... I'm like, get in the lounge, get at the desk. <laughs> These are the, the only sweet, oh, because also Mabel's napping as well, I forgot to mention that. So I've got this sweet spot now where James is going to run and do emails and I really want to show you guys. So this, I found this so funny thinking in my head because on Instagram, so there was this announcement that I had, which I'm just going to cut straight to it because this is how YouTube goes. Um, it's so much more chilled. So I'm releasing my A 
planner slash journal which i think i've basically 100 percent hinted to you guys already um, because i was too excited but i'm releasing it that is being published by harper collins so that's a long story short but basically i was like I did this whole kind of thing for Instagram, which I love. I love an announcement with the balloons and we had cake and like everything like that. And then I was thinking, oh, I still need to, you know, show it and say it on YouTube. I was like, there's not gonna be an announcement. There's not gonna be a cake. There's not gonna be balloons. It's literally just gonna be me chatting to you guys. And that's why I love YouTube. You can't, I just think you can't beat it. It's literally just chatting to your friends, like no makeup vibes a lot of the time. Like, I don't know, everything just feels so much more like natural and like you can just be yourself on YouTube, which I love. Yeah, so I have done a mini setup for you guys, but there's no balloons, there's no cake, okay? This is all you can get, the canvas that I had made. So, oh yeah, we've got the high chair in the background, nappy station. That's, that's your backdrop instead of balloons and a cake. So this is, Guys, I can't believe it. The planner! I don't even know where to start really. I've got so much to say. But the reason that I've had to have it, I guess I could like, pop you there. The reason that I have all these visuals and stuff to show you is because I haven't actually had a proper, I haven't actually seen the finished thing. So I've designed it all, I've like written it all, I've done all, everything like that. But I haven't actually had the final copy. It's gone to print this week. And basically it released the announcement on Instagram was because the pre-order had like started so you can pre-order it any time from now until the release date which is the 17th of August and then you can just buy it as usual um so it's in Waterstones it's um on Amazon um Amazon's the best place to pre-order it from slash buy it from because you get a price drop guarantee so I'll make sure I link it um in the description but you can just go on Amazon and type in Karis Whitaker or Plan Reflect Repeat and it should come up and you basically the so it, the RRP was 18.99. I'm gonna check now because I think they've actually already dropped it the other day. Someone messaged me saying they dropped it, dropped the price. But basically, if you pre-order, like say if you pre-order today when it was 18.99, if they drop it to 16.99 or 12.99, whatever Amazon drop it to before it's released, you'll pay the lowest price if you get me. So you're better off going and pre-ordering it on Amazon. Why is James calling me? Hello yes one a million percent tomorrow okay thank you bye <laughs> he's literally a few meters away in the lounge but he was just ringing me about <laughs> rearranging a collab posting date to my stories so what was i saying amazon have got the lowest guaranteed price promise which is really good so i think that's the best place to order it from but so welcome to i'm all flustered guys i don't know where to start welcome to plan reflect repeat so this is why i got this big canvas um made with it on because it gave like this is the only kind of visual cad well we had a couple of cad images and um, but we've only really had digital well i have only had digital images of the planner so far because obviously i haven't actually seen it yet it won't be long and i will be able to do an actual flick through and unboxing and i can't wait but i've put together these vibes because basically this was a sample of the color this wasn't the color we ended up going for because it was too creamy so i've put those there because they're little um these are little things that we had when we had the cake made the cake lady just brought over the little extra one she had made and i accidentally got some food <laughs> on the corner of that so we're just going to ignore that but this is um one of the colors of the uh, fabric that will be on the front it's like a linen i really wanted right from the start for it to look gorgeous feel gorgeous and really just feel like a premium book that you want to have like on your bookshelf like on your styling areas like they're just it's just going to be beautiful I cannot wait to see it in person but this color was just a little bit too yellowy um so we sampled it in a different color and I started then I had it so I started writing my feel good to-do list in here in the end um but this gives you an idea of the size so this is going to be the size of it um and the kind of thickness as well because it is i don't know if that's the exact thickness but i know it's a lot of pages so it's called plan reflect repeat and i was saying on my instagram that i had this um when harper collins basically contacted me and asked would i like to write a book i straight away thought okay a book's not for me it's not like quite my vibe but so we had a zoom call with them basically and i was like i don't know if this is even something that you would ever consider but i've always wanted to do a planner and a journal all in one 
Now this is because I plan, as you guys know, I have monthly, weekly and daily planners all around the house, multiple of them. I also journal loads and have done for years. I, like a while ago, years ago now, I released a, because I used to, like literally seven years ago, do like fitness guides and everything when that was like a massive thing on social media and I was really into fitness and stuff. And then as I was kind of going on my journey of like self-love and everything like that, um, I got really into like journaling and mindfulness and stuff. I then released like half a fitness planner and half a mental health journal. So I loved doing that at the time. And anyway, I haven't done anything similar since then. Um, but I have loved buying my own journals, doing this and that. So I put forward this idea to them and I was like, look, I even have a name for, not that I even thought I was ever going to do it, but I was just like, look, I love to plan. I love to reflect and I love to repeat that every day. I was like, I love this name. I love this idea. And I don't know if it's something because I just thought, HarperCollins is like a massive publisher of books and I just thought that they wouldn't be interested in like a journal or a planner but they loved the idea and so it started from there it was way over a year ago now um, that we started talking about it and doing it but I printed out here some of the pages for you guys but essentially it is half of the planner is um, well it's, kind of, it's a planner slash journal I keep I'll like interchange using the words because half of it is planning so we've got daily so every, basically every day, week or month, you also have a reflect. So this is just random pages, by the way, that I've printed off and like folded, <laughs> folded to make them look the right size-ish. So like, I love our plan of the day when I really wanted like the time schedules. And then I also wanted, because I love filling in like what I've got in the day on my daily planner that I've got at the moment, it's got something like this. But then if you've got a specific appointment, like say the health visitor did today was at 9.45, I, you have to like kind of write it halfway. So I love having this as like a general. And then I've got like the don't forget for really like specific time things. So like health is to at 9.45. So you can really clearly, I'm such a visual person, but you can really clearly see them like kind of what's happening and where. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but yeah, there's basically like, so then you would plan that day and then you have the option to reflect that day as well. So like just writing down you know, something you found stressful, something you enjoyed, this and that. I have found it helps me process my day, my week, my life so much more and just helps me feel in control of my life because there is so much going on for us all. You wouldn't believe how, like, such something so simple, just thinking about how I'm feeling about tomorrow can help set you up for tomorrow. Just, it doesn't like, you don't have to do anything about it. If it's the fact you're feeling stressed and anxious for tomorrow, you don't have to overwhelm yourself by being like okay I need to go and journal and actually sort out everything that's in my head and like really come up with solutions it journaling can be as simple as literally writing down how you are feeling it just it helps you process how you're feeling and that is such a great start to just feeling in control of your emotions anyway I've had a talk for a long time guys about um everything to do with this but I'll try and keep it short we got weekly planning we got monthly planning and then we got the side which is reflecting which has loads of different bits i've just um i had just some random bits printed off from it but we've got reframing negative thoughts we've got like all the kind of spring autumn summer um tick list i really wanted to do this as like a like when you're going into spring say for example or if you're going into summer now i have like loads of different things that you love and you can just like kind of tick them off as you go and like kind of i don't know i love making a thing of the new seasons and having that as like a positive spin on the year of like kind of looking forward to and planning things that you want to do in each season my anxiety dump which i've spoken about loads of times on vlogs and on my instagram i just kind of like follow this i've i made this up it was just something random and i've used it over and over and over again when i'm feeling anxious and um, i write down what i'm feeling anxious about what's in my control what's not in my control what do i want to do short term what do i want to do long term and how am i feeling now and it just helps me process these things um, and it helps me kind of feel less out of control with my thoughts this i also love a little self-care day planner um and then they've got like an annotated version as the first page of the self-care day planner it gives you like an idea of what you can put in there but you're just kind of meant to like sketch or write things that you're going to do today like you know have a bath paint your nails and it just again it helps you to focus on you know i i'm always the type of person to say i need a self-care day i need like to take time for myself and i never do or if i do i will literally be like well what do i do with myself now i've got two minutes of time what am i actually going to do writing things down is just how i exist is how i live if i've written down i need to have a bath and paint my nails i will have a bath and paint my nails so um yeah i don't want to babble for too much longer but this is my absolute baby i am so excited to have it in my hands and to actually 
benefit from it and use it and I can't wait for you guys to use it as well um so it, it, it has released already for pre-order um it was actually the number one um, best seller in like the planning section and everything like that for a while and it was also number five top seller of all the books on Amazon um, for the first 24 hours so I was so like I couldn't believe how many pre-orders there were um, and I've just like honestly my face hurts from just like grinning a bit too much there um, but yeah I'm so incredibly grateful but I mean I know I always say it but I, I literally couldn't do stuff like this I couldn't do my collections I couldn't do any part of my job that I am just so obsessed with and love so much I literally couldn't do it without you guys like you are the reason that I'm able to do it I know it's like a teamwork thing but still I just I feel in awe and just so grateful that I'm able to do it and this has been like I said I feel it all the time with my in the style collections like I'm literally wearing a full outfit here which I feel so confident and so comfortable in and it's like I'm only able to create these clothes because of you guys and the support and you also enjoying the collections and it's the same with this book like I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you guys and I've created something here that I am absolutely going to thrive and love and I just really hope that you guys um get the same benefit from it because oh, I just can't wait I just cannot wait so I'll be of course doing like an unboxing and showing you guys everything oh my tea's brewing as soon as um as soon as I get it in person but I just wanted to give you the mini youtube version of the announcement which has just been a lot more basic um but that's why i love youtube so yeah anyway i won't babble anymore i'm gonna drink my tea and i'm gonna prep some activities for us all to do once amber wakes up together um once amber wakes up activities that we can do together i mingled those two sentences together then oh and i also have actually some editing that i need to do for because my in the style collection is actually going live tonight um, but it'll already be live by the time you guys see this video so i've got some i just want to do like my stories on things like pricing and sizing and all of that so i'm actually going to go and do that now with my cup of tea so miss mabel is having a little nap but amber's gone amber <laughs> amber's woken up from her nap mabel's gone down for her nap i've changed into my you are enough t-shirt i'm so buzzing with this little design that we've done for this collection bringing back the you are enough vibes guys if any of you followed me way back in what was it 2017 or something crazy the first like merch that i ever released was called yae and everything had you are enough on it and so with this collection i really wanted to bring back like a you are enough vibe because it's just my favorite phrase ever also whilst uh amber and mabel were napping earlier i did my lashes then mabel woke up so we had like awake time whilst i kind of like tried to do a bit of work slash finish off my lashes now mabel's gone down for her another map uh, another another map another nap and me and amber are gonna do some baking right amber whittaker what are we making <gasps> what's mommy and amber gonna make donuts donuts so this brand always sends us such cake decor, um, such fun, like, yeah, go on, what were you gonna say? Please. What, yeah, please, we are gonna make them. Which one would you like to make? Pizza biscuits, pizza chocolate biscuits, or donut chocolate biscuits? This one. This one, okay, good idea. And um, yeah, but they always send us like really fun cooking stuff to do with Amber. And yeah, this one is amazing. They're both amazing. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. This one. Okay, cool. Let's do this one. <gasps> wow! Donuts. Whoa! It's donut chocolate. Donut chocolate. Should we just taste them? Yay! <laughs> I think we should. Putting the marshmallows in with the chocolate. Are you? Do you want to taste them? See if they taste nice. No. No? Wow. Do you want to taste one of the chocolates? <laughs> Which one are you tasting? Chocolate. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always pour, like if she needs to pour anything in. Great! And it's in like a packet or anything. Perfect! Shall I do the next bit? Yay! Yay, well done! More. I always like put it from the packet into a bowl so it's like there's no, you know, it's just easier for her to hold than uh, I can't even get it out of the packet half the time. The plastic packet. Right, next one. Painting yourself with flour. In it goes. So this is the mixture. And then we add our butter. Good job, Amber. Oh. I got a spoon. We need to mix. Yeah, we need a spoon so we can mix it. You're right. You what? I'm mixing it. You're mixing it. Good 
job, Amber. Woo, making biscuits. Making biscuits. Here we get the microwave. It's gonna go in the microwave. Not the microwave, they're gonna go in the oven. Oven. Yeah, oven. Right, lift your rolling pin up. Lift it up. <laughs> up into the air. Mummy put the flower down. Now I'm gonna give you this, okay? Ready? You roll on it. Whoa! Check you out! <gasps> Amber! All done! That's so good! All done! Squidge, squidge, squidge! That's so cool! I make it again! You make it again! Oh! Cool! <laughs> She's still going. I did it! You did it! Keep rolling it as well. They give you a little um, cutter thing that you can go. Thank you, baby. So, once we've rolled it, you hold this one for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and we're going to put it on there, see? And we're going to make a circle. But Mummy will roll it. And then, once it's a bit flatter, try putting your circle on there. Oh, Mummy's done it a bit too flat there. And then we'll have to cut around the circle and see. That's it. Pat it in. Let's see if it makes a little shape. Ooh, it does make a little circle and we'll cut around it and make our little pizzas to decorate with chocolate. Okay. <laughs> She's off. So, we're doing well. <laughs> we're still loving the handprints. We're getting there. We've done two pizzas so far. I'm doing fingers. You're doing fingers now? <laughs> this is honestly so much fun. <laughs> oh, I'm having a whale of a time. Wow, that's clever. You've learned how to roll them out. That's perfect. So, we should put another circle on one. For me, perfect. Right, so let's do it on this thin bit here. Stick it down. What do you want? Daddy's got your toys. Do you want us to show you what we've got? Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, I'm ready. Wow. I got you. I need to put the screen wall. Woo. I knew you'd like this. It's a dinosaur puppet, and you love dinosaurs and puppets. I um told her about the little toys we got for her. Daddy. And then I was like, let's go to the dinosaur movie. I was like, let's go to the car and get them. And then realized you'd taken the car. So that was a meltdown. But we replaced it with biscuit making, which Ooh, was lovely. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> it's the simple things. <laughs> Literally, these are so fun. Pop, pop. And then we also got, guys, which we'll move on to in a minute, a lawnmower. She's obsessed. Every time she hears like, a plane, a car, a lawnmower, they all sound the same. She loves like guessing which one it is. And I thought tomorrow, we're well, on the weekend, we can make some ice lollies, which would be fun. I thought these were genius. Bluey! Bluey! Yes, 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 that's bingo, and that's, yeah, it's a bluey book. Should we read those later tonight? But I thought these were genius. It says lick and sip lollies because you obviously lick them like a lolly and then they have these little things, because you obviously hold it that way around, and then you sip the juice out of them. Genius! That's yeah, brilliant. Do you know, I'm, I'm so easily pleased. I'm just that is, like really great. I know, it's <laughs> really great. Did you have a nice walk, Mills? Did you? Did you have a nice time? You've been gone. Where have you been? Have you been swimming? While she's happy for a second with her um, new puppet dragon thing, um, I wanted to say because, like obviously I just mentioned then her having a meltdown, and she is an angel child, but. I want to always say now and then that she does, of course, still have her moments because I, I'm such a big advocate of being, is that the right word? I don't know. But I just like to make sure every now and then because we don't show those moments because for us, that's just not something we want to show. I always make sure I mention that, you know, what you see online, whoever you are following, no matter how kind of real they are, you're never going to see the full picture. And that's just because you physically cannot see the full picture of some people's lives online. And obviously most of online as well is a reel of highlights on Instagram and everything. You know, you see in everyone's good times, everyone's good parts. And that's absolutely fine. I love following people and seeing their happy moments but social media is a much healthier place when we all remember that it is not the full picture um, and I always say we have two angel girls and I absolutely believe that we do but there's of course moments where she's making her biscuits happily and then the next minute she's so impatient because a toddler does not know how to wait for biscuits to cook so it's like the meltdown of I want the biscuits now of course she has those moments so I just wanted to make sure I reiterate that because I think things look yeah go on we should have like one of those art attack paints. Yeah. Yes, how I made earlier. I know, I know, literally. Because they just, they don't have that. 
Do you like it? Oh, oh my gosh, you can take all the poppers the right way. Wow. Push them back through. Uh oh. Hello. It's a good thing. James, you read them, Bluey. It's a good thing. She's not even in. <laughs> I want to do this one now, please. Thing, mermaids aren't scared of seagulls. <laughs> so this oh, is the toy umbrella. We actually use this to make ice lollies. We're having, having a great time. Yet. Hi. So shall we make ice lollies Hi. tomorrow? Yay! She loves but her tomorrow. play with <laughs> So, house is an absolute mess. I'm not even going to try and hide it. Like, bacon, everything. And we are now going to make our HelloFresh meal for tonight. Whoa! In the little buttons, got to put your petrol in or whatever they put in there. <laughs> you can tell how many times I've kept the grass. Broom, broom. <laughs> got to put your little mice in there to run around and get it going. <laughs> Stop it. Whoa. She stopped to see a leaf. Um, so, yes, I am going to, my lashes are st sticking together because they're a bit like gluey at the moment. I am going to tidy this absolute mess, but... I've got to crack on now because I'm on a schedule, otherwise I won't be able to get dinner time dinner done in time for Amber to eat with us. And this one wants crutches, so I think I'm gonna get the sling, pop her in the sling and see if I can cook our dinner tonight with her in the sling. Hello, are you coming to say hello? Hi! So yes, I didn't even really show you the lashes properly earlier, but I don't know how well you can see them, but one side's definitely better than the other, but I'm happy with them. They were a very quick nap time lash glue on. Like I can't, I honestly have never before I found these semi-permanent lashes. They're the tatty lashes, by the way. I think, did I mention that in the last video? I can't remember. Hello. Hello there. Do you like mummy's lashes? Very fluttery. <laughs> oh, how's your lawn mowing going? You're cutting the grass. Thank you, Amber. Mummy. Yeah, Amber. James is uh, taking in the washing. Mom. I didn't I even. I didn't even know whether you were taking it in or out, darling. That's how undomesticated. Well, the sun is beaming, to be fair. But um, oh yeah, you left out overnight, did you? James loves his washing line. Back. You coming back? Mila's eating a plant. Woo! So yes. Anyway. Let's go make some dinner. Got my crocs on, guys. Woo. Oh, that's lovely, Amber. You're so sweet. Do you know that? Hey, yeah. Mommy, come on. You want me to join in? Hi. Hello. You're so good at that. That's so nice. She's smiling. You're the best big sister. Decorating our biscuits. That's it. You can take a handful and sprinkle. You try that? Okay. You'll pick the blue up. That's it. Boom. Pink. Hey. And red. And red, yeah. Which one should I do, big or small? Big. Big? Which one are you doing? Small house. You're doing a small house. Mommy, do a big one house. Okay, Mommy, do a big one. Mm, Amber, Amber. Yes, Mommy. Are you making a small house? Yes, Mommy. Are you sure? Mommy's making a house. Wow, you, oh my gosh, you did your own version then. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. What could we do instead of ha, ha, ha at the end? We could do, because that doesn't really make sense. We're singing our Coco Melon song, which is the one where they, they go into the kitchen, don't they, Coco Melon, and they're like, Mummy, Mummy. Yes, Mummy. Uh, um, what do they say? They say, eating ice cream. Yes, Mummy. Are you sure? Yes, Mummy. Open your mouth. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ha. So for our houses, we could do Amber, Amber. Yes, Mummy. Building houses. I make small houses. Yeah, I make small house. I like that one. And then I say, what's Mummy doing? Big one house. Big one house. I like that. What are we doing? Houses. Yeah, I love that. Houses. Woohoo! We did our own song there. I'm having a great time. Can I eat a chocolate biscuit? Uh, oh! Uh, have you got a story to tell us? Yeah? Uh, Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. You are an angel. 
baby. Uh, baby. An angel. Baby. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit later on now. Um, well, James is on. <laughs> so yeah, James is on bin duty. We have just been cleaning the kitchen. It's getting there, guys. We've got the bins going. We've got the surfaces are semi-clean. So we've just done the, my brain's frazzled from doing the evening routine. It always is frazzled. Um, but both girls are sleeping now, so I can breathe a little bit. Um, but we're just having a big house organization. Just honestly, we just ignore it now. We just ignore the mess right till the end of the day. Like obviously we tidy as we go as much as we can. Um, but we pretty much ignore it and then try and do as much as we can in the evening once they've gone down. But We've also got a meeting tomorrow, like a big meeting of a proposal. There's like a proposal thing that we need to go over tonight. So we're going to be going over that um, once James has finished doing the bins. We'll go over that together. So that's kind of like our evening plans together um, to do that. But I wanted to, whilst James is doing the bins, to show you um, samples. So we were so annoyed earlier when we went to the... Wow, that is sunny. That is a golden hour. When we went to the house earlier, we were so annoyed because we were meant to take all these samples with us and show you them, like where they were gonna go. But I think it's pretty, like I can just chat you through them like this because we basically wanna, we have, the main question we have basically at the moment is the kitchen cabinet colors. But let me just show you the samples. I've collected so many, but this is what we've like rounded up so far. Hiya. How's your <laughs> Hiya. Bye. Um, Yes, this is what we've rounded up so far. So uh, these are the tiles which I showed the other day, which are going to be the backsplash tiles. I am obsessed. This is what me and James are a little bit conflicted I about. I am completely <laughs> opposed to this idea. You completely... Like, I'm so opposed. <laughs> but you know what? If it means that it doesn't go into this house or into a future house of ours, you do think... it in the fixer upper. So you think that if we do this and then we realize it's a mistake. I won't do it in this or Our future house. house. Exactly. Mm, I think I might do it and love it, but we will see. I just think they're I real don't, stones. I don't actually like the look. Cause when me and we'll the get kitchen, out then. obviously I'm more of a leaf than you. Leave and me. I just think everything needs I know. to feel so clean all the time. And I just don't think that's ever going to be I know exactly clean. what you mean. My dad was siding with you on that. I, like, cause they are kind of like, they're not, I know exactly what you mean. They're almost like chalky. And someone did to comment previously as well, even if you seal them, they also get dirty and hard to clean. Well, my friend who's moving into the house that we're doing up is a very, like she loves cooking. So we will find out within like two days whether these are like stained with bolognese sauce, but she is obsessed with them as well. And this is her vibe. So we are gonna go for them and we're probably gonna regret them, but you can say I told you so many times. <laughs> I haven't even got an option here. So can we get the guys? Yeah. Let's be loud. Oh, you want Let's the comments? Be loud in the comment section. Okay. No, don't. Let's be loud. No, stone. No, stone. No, stone. No, oh my God, stop. So that's the black splash. Um, and then this is the floor tile. This is um, like just basically something, like this isn't set in stone. This is one that I found in Wix. It was like 14 pound a square meter. I just thought it was really good value. Um, our floors in our house are a little bit grayer. Um, they're almost like got like a gray tinge to them. So that's like, they're very similar, but it's more kind of like less gray, basically. Okay. Ours has like a bit of gray vibe running through it. Whereas this is more just like classic kind of wood vibes. Do you get me? Do you get me? No, not at all. I do have shorts on under here. <laughs> just, okay, they are very short. They are there somewhere. <laughs> my shorts, my Crocs and my t-shirt. This is the look we're going for tonight. Yeah, so that's the floor. They're the splashbacks. This is the worktop, which is very similar to the one we've got here, but it's just a laminate. Um, so that kind of goes there. And then these are the two colours. Now, the reason I was like really didn't think that I'd want to go for white. I never, I was like, right, I'm not like getting white samples for the kitchen. I didn't want to go white cabinets. I wanted to have something to it. So this was like a colour that I loved, which was clay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a little bit pinky. It's Kind of, yeah, I can say you can sort of see it. It's almost got like a pinky purple tinge to it. But I do love it. I'm just, guys, I just don't know. So when I kind of like put them all together, it almost feels like there's too many colors with now because the fact that I'm adding in this for the ceiling cladding. So as I said, the ceiling is gonna be cladded in this, um, it's a reclaimed timber. It's actually by, funny story, um, but it's not that funny. Um, random story 
when I go on my in the style shoot days, we go to like shoot locations in the Cotswolds and places like that. And the people that own the homes are re- like sometimes really super friendly and chat to us loads. On one of my shoot days last year, it was like Amber was like three months old or something, and we were shooting there for one of the summer collections. And the woman who owned this Cotswold like barn conversion that she'd done was so friendly. We were chatting for ages. We like had food with her after. It was so lush. She owns a interior design company. Her Instagram is um i'll pop up her instagram here but anyway she owns a design interior design company her stuff is amazing and she basically brought out these reclaimed timber cladding because she clads loads like ceilings walls and she brought them out in loads of different colors and this is like a very kind of this one's called algae patch this color and it's very i don't know i love it it's like a beigey i just think on the ceiling it'll look so seamless and so like textured i love it so this this and do you get me? I was almost thinking, if I do them one at a time now, on my story, 60%, I think it was in the end, of people voted for clay instead of the white. But sometimes when I look at it, I just think the clay looks almost, I don't know, the white almost just looks more expensive and kind of less in your face. Do you know what I mean? But also because this is going in like the darker area, I know we were talking about that, of the kitchen. It's like do we need to bring that brightness to it is this going to end up looking too because obviously right now it's up like that but this will be like down and like that which on the floor and stuff does look a bit darker i don't know it's really hard but basically clay or chalk which one are we thinking clay chalk clay chalk white you can just call it white if you want we'll know which one you mean um please let us know because genuinely seriously and like cannot decide because i like them both for different reasons and i'm just terrified of choosing the wrong one so i'm gonna make some cups of tea for me and james before we sit down and do the proposal meeting not meeting whatever the proposal plan oh i'm gonna use the two new mugs yes so i, I kind of just wanted to chat basically about like how I, I was showing you early in the planner about the one of the sections of the mindfulness thing was like reframing negative thoughts and me and james were having a really good conversation yesterday because i think like we both have been struggling so much going from one to two kids we only we feel like we can only blame ourselves because we have so much going on and it's been a really big adjustment and it's probably been a much bigger adjustment than we thought both the girls are absolute angels, but we just feel like there is no time. And I know that when I do these clips, I always can hear like the voices of like what people are gonna comment. And you know, that you can never say the right thing online. And I, I feel like I have to say, you know, every time that we do know how grateful we are to both be home with the girls. It makes a huge difference. And every day, I pretty much think about the parents that are doing this on their own, whether you're a single mum or whether your partner is just at work all day, like that is the norm and that is incredibly hard. We get both of us at home all day, obviously we do both work still at home most days, we, t we try and take the days where, because obviously Amber goes with my parents and James's parents like for some mornings or like some days and we get the bulk of our work done then, but obviously now we have Mabel thrown into the mix, we're feeding, napping, awake times we feel like we are drowning and we can't catch our breath. But, you know, everyone we spoke to said, going from one to two, the first year is gonna be absolute chaos and then it will get easier. And I've got those voices in my head telling me. And I'm trying to, I don't know, I'm trying to reframe the negative. So I was saying to James yesterday that I keep framing everything in a really negative way. So say I've had like, so I've, today went so, like was going so well and was going so smoothly. And then it got to that kind of evening time where like, you know, Amber's super overtired. We're trying to cook dinner. Mabel is really hungry. Mabel, we're pushing Mabel like to the end of that awake time so she can go down after dinner. Everything turns to like crying, you know, chaos. Um, and you just, I then frame the whole day as like, I can't do this and, and whether you have kids or not this can happen in your work in your school in whatever situation you know something can happen and you reframe the whole day as like I li I can't this isn't what goes through my head I can't do this what are we doing something needs to change this was an absolute disaster like my life is not on track when actually like we've had really good parts of the day um, and so reframing like those negative thoughts is something I'm actually really trying to do at the moment because 
And every time I'm in a like, stressful situation, like I tried it all day today and it helped so much. That's probably why 90% of the day did feel positive because I tried to do this thing where like, if say I'm having a really difficult moment with both of the girls or like I'm trying to do something and like whatever, it could be anything. And I'm thinking in my head, like you can't do this. What are you doing? This is, this is falling apart. This is a disaster. I switched that straight to, this is a really stressful moment and I'm really proud of myself for being in it and trying my best. It sounds stupid, but it helps so much. Just every time you have, and it's the same when I was dealing with anxiety before I had kids. Um, reframing negative thoughts for anxiety, for me, was so powerful. Like, so if, say, I, for example, I was out and about, or even just at home, I had a really anxious situation where I was feeling really, really anxious, straight away I go to, you know, what is my life? I'm such a, you know, I'm so pathetic. I'm feeling so anxious over ordering a coffee or something like that. Now, I reframe those thoughts to, I'm feeling so anxious today, so I am even more proud of myself than usual for being in this situation and trying my best, whether I get through or not. Like, I'm just proud of myself for existing in those stressful situations. And so I'm really trying to bring that into my parenting life a bit more at the moment because, yeah, I just feel like sometimes I feel on top of the world and I'm like, we have so many exciting things going on and so many opportunities and so there's so much going on with work and I'm so grateful. And, and then the next minute I feel like, I can't catch my breath. I can't keep up with family and friends. I've got a million WhatsApps that are unanswered. You know, I was meant to be keeping up with my fitness. Obviously I've been taking a break because of my coccyx, but I really wanted to get back into like feeling fit and feeling good. That's gone down the drain. There's no time for anything. Then that kind of spirals and I'm like, oh my goodness. And then the next minute I'm like, oh, it's all great again. So yeah, there's just so many things going on. And I think it's relevant to so many walks of life, whether you've got kids or whether you've not big changes or no changes at all it just ugh, there's just so much that could bring on those type of thoughts and those type of like kind of roller coaster feelings of life and for starters it's completely normal to feel like that but when you find like me and James have lately that the negative thoughts are so much more than the positive thoughts for me I've got to start by trying to reframe those negative thoughts and that has really helped us both today being like you know, when, when everything's chaos and the kids are screaming and this and that, we just laugh at each other and we say, oh, we're so proud of ourselves for getting through this. And you know, it's really hard to say the right thing online. And I'm sure some people will be thinking, you know, we're ungrateful or some people will be thinking this and that. And I just hope that no one who truly watches our videos and knows us would think that because we are so grateful for our situation, for working at home, for being with the girls as much as we can be, for our family support. Again, I honestly don't know how people um, do, can, you know, parent and live, and so many people do without the support of family. Um, it's so incredibly hard, and it's, it's the most magical, amazing thing, parenting, but it's also, it's the hardest thing. And I know I'm not Einstein for coming up with that concept. It is all over social media. And you know what? It's really nice to hear that from other people. It's really nice to hear that other people are in the same boat as you. And um, when I went to my, I went to my friends yesterday, we all did, and she's got two, um, like, she's got a three-year-old and a two-year-old, and, um, obviously we've got a two-year-old and a newborn. There was all four babies, the house was chaos, they pulled all the pillows off the sofa, and we were sat there just laughing, having our cups of tea, and she was saying, she just kept saying to me, isn't it crazy going from one to two kids, and I was just there going, yeah! Yeah, it is rocking Mabel like this. <laughs> Trying to get her to sleep while the other toddlers are just all up. And you just, you've got to laugh and you've got to reframe those thoughts as much as you can to just, God, I'm so proud of myself. My life's fallen apart, but I'm proud of myself for trying my hardest. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my outlook on things. So that's my <laughs> kind of food for thought. I'm not giving professional advice here again. I feel like I'm beating around the million bushes because you know what it's like being online. But um, yeah, that just, it just made me chuckle. Anyway, I'm gonna finish our cups of teas and plan the proposal for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> don't take me, this is literally what I was just gonna show. This is the difference between me and James. James has one pen. And I've got my little setup notebook. These guys are the best things I ever bought. They're little pastel highlighters from um, Can I give you a tip, though? John Lewis. You have to write something to be able to highlight it. <laughs> yeah, you've already started. And I'm just there like, do, 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 do. Put those there. Let me just show you guys what they look like. 
they like that. They like pastel, <laughs> pastel colours. Really cute, actually. I think my favourite colour is probably the green. Oh. <laughs> Should we start now? <laughs> Sorry, I am coming. I James is ready with his one pen. Don't go wrong, I appreciate the cup of tea, but it's not a nice cold beer. Yeah, I've swapped the beers for tea. In our new mugs. I really like them. They're really nice. Yeah, lovely, aren't they? <laughs> Good really purchase. nice. Anyway, we are sat down now. Mabel is I'm sleeping, Mabel's sleeping. We actually put Mabel in the playroom because that seems to be the calmest room of the house. Once Amber's gone to bed. Yeah, literally just around the corner. It's just a nice calm. Yeah, the door's right there. It's, it's just... close enough that we can hear her and like easily see her. But we can like, talk. enough that we can talk without having to be like, oh. Yeah. And like keep all the lights off. Yeah. Exactly. She's starting to become a little bit a light little bit, yeah. She and is a little bit noise sensitive. I mean she'll be able to hear us now, I know. It's literally yeah. like two steps away. But it still just like muffles the sound a bit, so she's more likely to, you know, have a good sleep. Um so anyway, girls are sleeping, we're cracking on, then we're off to bed. And we're gonna love you and leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you very much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye nice guys. Video, guys. Have a good one. Mwah. Thank you.